Hello and welcome back to another guide of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to review a guide to what is the strongest heavy lance in the game. This is a guide in a series of four guides where I'm going to review the very strongest lances on every uh, weight level. Today we're going to look at the heavy weight level, so everything up to 75 tons. If you haven't done yet, how about checking out the other content on my channel? I post quite regularly and typically play strategy games such as XCOM and Battletech. I also design quite a bit of guides, so if you're interested in either of those games, feel free to give it a look. With that being said, let's dive into the topic of heavy lances and how to optimize them. So, when looking at the Heavy Lance, I will not go as deep into the details as with the Assault Max, mainly because I want to keep the videos shorter. The typical contenders on the Heavy Mech that you would expect to have in this list are either of the four mechs. Number one, the Marauder for target sniping, the Grasshopper for a loaded laser boat, then the Archer for the best-in-class missile boat and potentially something along the lines of a Black Knight or Orion if you want to just go to the absolute maximum. Now there is an exceptional, exceptionally good frame uh, from a Marauder that automatically qualifies them to be potentially the top dog, uh, which in this case is the Mad 2R. The Mad 2R is one of the pre-Star League uh, Marauders that is a very rare uh, breed of mech. As the other Star League models, it automatically sinks 60 instead of 30 energy, or heat rather, every single round. So it makes it incredibly potent and offers also a bit more storage room with a slightly modified uh, count of weapons that it can carry. So. Typically, you could argue four Marauders of that category should be the best lance, but not quite there yet. I have tried a couple of setups and I figured given that the resolve gain that you will gain even with 50 morale and even with four plus three uh, plus 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 command modules is not enough to fuel all of the Marauders. Typically, you get two to three shots, precise shots that is, out every round, you might as well go with two Marauders because that's the amount of precise shots. The disadvantage of the Marauder compared to other top contenders in this tier is that it will dish out lower amounts of damage. I've tried to overload it with lasers in uh, terms of just maximizing the damage. Problem is the hard points just uh, are not comparable to a Grasshopper, which brings us to the next uh, available contender that I would put into the lance, so Marauder, Marauder, Grasshopper. The Grasshopper with a whooping 14 hard points, 13 of which are laser, is pretty straightforward and therefore takes the cake for just best brawler. So if you don't have additional options to snipe, this mech is stronger than the uh, comparable Marauder, therefore one Grasshopper makes it. And then the last one was a decision to again carry an ECM module because the ECM module is just the very strongest piece of equipment in the game. So I thought about which of the mechs in the large, uh, so heavy tier, would be good enough or the optimal mech to carry that. And after a bit of testing between a couple of Orions, Black Knights and the Warhammer, I figured that the Warhammer is the best choice. It is just ever so slightly lighter armor than the Orion, but it is not nominal, so we're talking about 60 armor overall. On the flip side of it, it has an optimized capacitator, so a built-in feature for 20% additional energy damage and has a fantastic hardpoint coverage with light weapons. So essentially what that gives you is light weapons and support weapons which are typically energy heavy and um, which are typically like laser focused weapons um, and allows them to even get 20 percent damage on top of it so at the end i was looking for the maximum firepower with a good heat efficiency that you can uh, get out and the warhammer by far has done the best job so the idea is pretty similar to 
the assault uh, type of setup where we're going to have the Warhammer carrying the ECM and being a bruiser hybrid support still being super super effective so we're looking at a firepower of 350 which is respectable and um, that is continuous firepower if you look at the heat efficiency we can easily go on with that over and over we do have a grasshopper with a whooping firepower of 500 keep in mind the warhammer firepower is actually higher so multiply that by 1.4 so the actual firepower is 510 the grasshopper comes in at a firepower of 500 multiply that by 1.2 because of the tax, so it'll come in at 610, which is quite good for a large mech, shall I say. And we do have two marauders that each come in at a firepower base of 350. It will have the tech on top of it, so uh, times 1.2. So we're looking at around 420 damage. The marauders, however, are not built to maximize their firepower. They are built to snipe and use the air pre uh, precision module that they do have um, in order to so the lance command uh, command module in order to call shot for the head and therefore kill the enemy i'll really quickly go through the builds the warhammer uses all erm laser plus plus weapons with plus 10 damage these are heat efficient so that i can uh, sink the around 130 ish heat with double heat sinks and a single exchanger all of that is very weight optimized there is a com system three plus in here a gyro for 35 percent less damage taken and double heat sinks just to make sure that the um, warhammer will not overheat also the classical ecm system the massive brawler grasshopper comes in of course with a bit of a different setup we're going er medium lasers and er small laser plus plus all the way each of them have the plus 10 damage take to maximize the underlying damage we have the tech plus plus for a damage multiplier of 1.2 have a com system have a gyro for 35 percent less uh, stability damage taken filled up all of the remaining slots with weightless arm arm mods so that we can even punch in case we're ever overheating and if you look at the heat efficiency we're running a deficit of 50 although that includes all of the ers lasers which typically will not uh, play a larger role so i assume that half of the time the grasshopper will be close enough to use them half of the time they will not the lance plays a lot like a medium to long range engagement which kind of nicely brings us to the core of the lance really the piece that brings everything together is the marauder here the lance command mods stack with one another so we have 20 percent additional damage lance wipe which is fantastic Put that uh, together with bulwark and vigilance in there and you will have a tank with minus 80 percent damage reduction comms module plus 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 and uh, a exchanger as well as a heat bank to make sure that the difficulty of the marauder to deal with heat is been mitigated and then, then uh, fill out the rest with erm lasers we're looking at 45 points of damage multiplied by 1.2 uh, and we're looking at an uac 10 also mid-ranged for 60 points of damage again multiply that by 1.2 which means only two shots need to hit the head and this guy here has six lasers and two shots so that's eight shots with an overall 38 percent chance or 36 percent chance sorry to hit every single time eight times 36 uh, percent is on average an, a dead enemy mech unless they have means to substantially reduce uh, the damage which they typically do not have this lance is an excellent lance to collect uh, new mechs but once you can pull it off in this quality you potentially don't need a lot of mechs to collect this is more a show off so speaking about show off let's get into a five school mission and see how well this lance is holding up against enemies above its weight class as a mission, I have selected Covered Surveillance, which is a plentiful, difficult five school mission that will allow us to capture a base. Capture base is always an interesting fight because it will require just a few enemies that we need to get rid of. Also, we wanted to increase our reputation with the Capellian Confederation. So five schools, and let me just um, select the lands correctly. 
Okay, very similar setup to the other LANs. We do have a pilot with sensor lock, bulwark, and master technician, just to make sure that we can react on the initiative count of three, grasshopper with multi-shot and the coolant, just in case we need to deal with the hardness of uh, the grasshopper. And then we have the ace pilots on both of the marauders. All of the pilots are maximized, so that should not be a problem. So the game warns us that this is a bit of a light drop, but I can assure you that we will be just fine. Okay, we landed. Uh, these are the coordinates where we are required to go in. This is not going to be a full mission uh, review. I just want to show you uh, the, the idea behind uh, the lance. It should be quite clear by now. So the lance itself uh, will work again with the ECM structure. We can hide very nicely behind it. And I'll just show you some exclusive gameplay where we're then fighting. So let me set up the fight. Good, we've engaged with the enemy. First thing that you can see with a heavy lance compared to an assault lance, you have the advantage of actually going first if you want. We're of course going to work with reserve. And one of uh, the common themes that you will see is that we're just going to wait until the enemy moves. So let me progress that a little bit further until they are actually quite close to us and then we're going to engage them. Okay, this is where we can continue. Oftentimes you will get a situation where you do have sort of a stall mate. Uh, the enemy is on the last initiative as well. And basically what you can do with that uh, tactic, because we don't want to, for now, get into an open battle with them, is you're essentially uh -huh. moving the team closely together and waiting until the last of uh, the enemies will make their move. The victor in this case here, by the way, is a fantastic target for us. So we would move a tiny bit back. Good. And I feel a tiny bit adventurous today. So ah, that is in the open. I don't feel that adventurous. Instead, let's move over here and scout out the banshee okay there is no follow-up possibility because this guy here uh, will only be able to move to here so we can do the precision shot and i can start so the banshee has a 40 percent damage reduction as you can see uh, it is entranced and has bulwark none of the enemies at this point does have sensor lock which is going to matter a lot for them we have the 35% shot chance for the head. And really what is happening is the pilot can start trying to hit the head. Worst thing that can happen is it'll only be partially hit. As you can see, only one uh, hit this time. That is my experience is the insta-kill works about 50 to 60% of uh, the time uh, that it has uh, specific reasons. Multi-shot weapons only can hit uh, the head once. And sometimes, specifically when projectiles uh, have, a, have a problem traveling there, at least for me, it seems that uh, the game is prioritizing certain other hit zones. Be it as it may, in the dozens and dozens of attempts that I've played with the Lance, it's around, just take it, it's around kind of a 50 to 60% uh, chance. But you can see, the next follow-up from Mandrake already killed it. Let's hit him hard. So even with a 50 to 60% insta-kill chance, you will still have a 100% follow-up kill chance. So both of the Marauders are now slightly heated, but you can see they certainly have it in them to go for another round. Enemy moves up. Victor, again, for the time okay, being, we don't want to fully engage them which means we're just uh, using the grasshopper here in order to brace. The enemy only has three more uh, targets available at this point. So we can now either go for the Banshee or for the Victor. Potentially the Victor Ready is forward. the bigger threat. Uh, we are moving over here. Moving to position. Just to make room for both of our snipers. We can get the Banshee next round at our heart's content. 
The UACs, as you can see after a single shot, now have a problem to hit. But thanks to our precise shot, we're still at 70%, so that uh, shouldn't be a problem. Victor here, same deal. We're hit it, trying to hit the head. Again, just one hit. That's a bit of an unfortunate showcase. Standing by. Typically, you will hit... Um, you will hit them and kill them immediately most of the time like i said slightly above slightly above uh, 50 percent on it let's go let's go all right i don't want to let him act again so what we're going to do is we're um preempting a alpha strike in this case and the way that i want to do that is we're moving here and we are actually killing both of them uh, this turn first the victor here elite gladiator there we go level damage on the head insta kill And since we have our entire team to follow up, that's actually quite helpful. Warhammer can move over here with the ECM. I don't mind it standing in the open. We can use Vigilance just to be sure in case uh, they will retaliate. And this is more so to prime him, getting that extra them uh, getting those evasion blips down and starting to hit them i want to show also show a uh, case how the grasshopper is going to fare with them mind you this is not in real alpha striking range so this is just a ranged version so to speak but still we're seeing quite a bit of damage so and it's now tagged, so with the full team, you would uh, even be able to just, yeah, go through the entire mech. Marauder moves up, Precision Strike, and let's see if we can finish off this Victor. He is already relatively low, but I want to still try to headshot it. And there you go. This time it's uh, 100 to 0. That's typically how it uh, works with the Marauders. Now we're going to, yeah, we're going to work on uh, that last guy. Mainly by putting everything in reserve. And let's use the Grasshopper in order to showcase uh, that as well. Good. Imagine the series of full-fledged Banshee, 40% damage uh, reduction. And with the amount of uh, hits here, I think there is there could even be uh, an argument made that we could go for the head. Let's see, this here is 350. Potentially not going to completely uh, go through it, but just keep in mind this is 40% damage reduction, right? And we still open the yeah, core just like that. No problem. So now potentially what you can do is you can use the Warhammer just out of range of the ER lasers. You can use the Warhammer as a fire support. You automatically are going to hit uh, the torso quite a bit and yeah like i mentioned with the grasshopper it's not a big problem uh, to open even the heaviest next thanks to the massive massive firepower And there you go. Easy peasy. Good. Let's see if I can get, uh, grab some more footage. Okay, it just so happened that entire drop 
literally dropped next to us, which is a great example of how to deal with tighter situations, shall I say. So one of the things in this lance that is helpful is you, with the grasshopper, you do have an alternative to the classical, uh, the classical sniping. What I mean with that is we can definitely go and hunt that catapult over there or uh, we will save uh, the precision strike for the others. Catapult. One of those mechs that can easily be one shot if you have enough firepower. So that was 100 to a 0 in one go. For some reason the frame, drop, uh, frame rate is really poor at this point. So that's a, a single shot uh, kill. Of course, we're left with the Zeus here and we don't want that to, to be our standard uh, setup. So we're going to move the Marauder in. Let's have a bit of a headshot contest. Nope. Headshot, please. And that's a straight up kill. Good to go. Mind you, all of these here are heavy or assault mechs. Good. Really solid heavy and assault mechs. I'll potentially move a little bit further back. We'll still need to be in range for the tagging. There we go. Zeus, standard hit, precision shot to the head. <laughs> and another one bites at us. So that was an entire lance just dropped and we weren't even full on resolve. At the same time, entire team comes in. And you, you can see how we're how easy it is to deal with uh, these guys. So Highlander certainly will take some damage if we're lucky. Confirmed. We're going to uh, to injure it a, a tiny bit. Good. We're now taking retaliation, fire, and that's a part of the showcase as well. Just seeing how structurally sound these guys are. Look at the Marauder. It took an um, absolute minority in terms of uh, damage. Not, Got it. It's laughable amounts compared to what we have just done to their lance. 40% damage uh, reduction, clear shots to the head. There you go. And another kill. Okay, so potentially 50 to 60% as a as a uh, suggestion was even a little bit low maybe more like two-thirds insta kill so that was a wipe of an entire lance uh, with a heavy lance i hope you enjoyed uh, that uh, little demonstration of what can be done with the marauders and how deadly they can become there is plenty of salvage for me to take care of if you enjoyed the video and the guides in general feel free to leave a comment and a like down below and check out the other Battletech related videos. Stay frosty, Mac Warriors, and bye bye.